Hello, I'm Dr. Dan Uslin, a UCLA Health Infectious Disease Specialist. I'm joined by my colleague, Dr. Annabelle de St. Maurice. We are here to talk about COVID-19, or novel coronavirus, and address some of your questions. Dr. de St. Maurice, who is most at risk for COVID-19? The CDC says that the immediate health risk to the general public in the United States is low, even though we are identifying more cases, which is expected. For most people, the novel coronavirus produces a mild illness, and many of those infected don't even know that they have it. As with influenza, in some cases, it can lead to serious illness, including pneumonia and death. It appears that the elderly and those with underlying medical conditions are the most susceptible to severe infection. Dr. Uslin, what are some of the symptoms of the novel coronavirus? Well, the most common symptoms of the novel coronavirus or COVID-19 are fever, cough, shortness of breath, and breathing difficulties. Contact your primary care physician if you experience these symptoms and meet the criteria for exposure as determined by the CDC. Public health authorities will determine if you should be tested. Now let's talk about the difference between flu symptoms and coronavirus. They're very similar. Influenza can also cause symptoms of fever and cough and shortness of breath. And that's why it's important if you're concerned you might have COVID-19 to see your doctor and consider getting tested. So who should be screened for coronavirus and where can patients be screened? We are screening all patients for symptoms and travel history to areas where coronavirus is common. Those who meet the CDC uh, person under investigation criteria are recommended by public health authorities to get a COVID-19 test. For patients being tested or confirmed with novel coronavirus, we are adhering to rigorous testing criteria recommended by CDC and local public health authorities designed to prevent transmission. Dr. Uslan, what can people do to prevent transmission? Well, public health officials recommend the following steps to prevent the spread of all respiratory viruses, including influenza and COVID-19. First is wash your hands frequently and for at least 20 seconds with soap and water or alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Next is to cough into your elbow or a tissue and not your hands. Dispose of the tissue and wash your hands afterwards. Clean and disinfect frequently touched surfaces at home, work and school using a, uh, a common household disinfectant or a wipe. Avoid touching your eyes, nose and mouth. Avoid contact with people who are sick. And importantly, if you are sick, stay home and do not travel or report to work. Practice healthy habits, get plenty of sleep, be physically active, manage your stress, drink plenty of fluids and eat nutritious foods. Dr. D. St. Maurice, do you think people should be wearing a face mask? That's a great question. There is no need to wear a face mask in the general public unless you have symptoms of an airborne infectious disease or if you're a healthcare worker in prolonged close contact with somebody who's contagious. Outside of these circumstances, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention do not recommend the use of a face mask by the general public. In part, this is because if the general public is wearing a mask, they may be more inclined to touch their face as they're adjusting the position of the face mask. I see, so that could actually lead to increased transmission because they're touching their face. Precisely. Dr. Uslan, should patients keep their regularly scheduled medical appointments? Oh yes, absolutely. Patients face no additional risk in our hospitals and clinics. Please keep existing appointments unless directed otherwise. All of our hospitals and in Westwood and Santa Monica and our clinics across Southern California remain open to serve the community. Where can people get more information, Dr. De St. Maurice? We would recommend first going to the UCLA website, uclahealth.org slash coronavirus. Additionally, there are excellent resources with our public health authorities at cdc.gov or LA County Department of Public Health. These contain the latest and most accurate information. Thank you for joining us.